of India? You know, the Bank of India stock, after the numbers had taken a bit of a beating, right? So, just want to get that up on board again. It was a very weak set of numbers. The deposit growth came in at a nine-quarter low. Net interest margins came in at a six-quarter low. But this morning, you have a Morgan Stanley report where there's a double downgrade that is coming on Bank of India. So, I wanted to highlight that. Morgan Stanley has downgraded it to an underweight from an overweight and cut the target price to 125 rupees. They say across the board, there are misses. The net interest margins, um, the net interest income missed estimates by 6%. Margins declined 25 basis points due to a sharp moderation in loan spreads. The credit costs were uh, better than expected, but um, the stock has rallied sharply. If you look at the stock performance, right, it's up 40% in the last two months. And the valuations, Morgan Stanley says, at 0.8 times price to book is expensive with a significant ROA headwinds in FY25. So that's why they've come in with this double downgrade and they are quite cautious on the PSU space. In fact, this was the point that we were making early in the morning as well, that a lot of the PSU banks, right, despite the big rally that we saw yesterday, there was no delivery-based buying in PSU banks. It was largely perhaps speculative. Even in the largest one, SBI, there was only 35% delivery buying. BOB saw only 33%, PNB saw 26%. So maybe a little bit of caution is something that you'd like to uh, keep in the market. Absolutely. In this space. I know. Uh, this is about two minutes to go for the market open.